So it's February 2022 and you're looking for the latest version of Launcher Manager and also the Wolf Launcher. Maybe you're fed up of all these adverts on the Amazon home screen. Maybe your device is performing really slowly with all of that sponsored content, sponsored applications or using the latest custom launcher and launcher manager, you can fix all of those issues. So in this video today, let me show you those new features of the launcher manager. I'll show you how you can install this on your device, how you can change your home screen, how you can even customize your screen saver all through this new launcher manager. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the new 4K Fire Stick mags, but you can follow this process on any other Amazon device as long as it runs Fire OS 6 or higher. And you can also follow this process on any Android TV device. Now to start the process, just go over to your settings, go over to MyFi TV, go to developer options, and make sure you have ADB debugging enabled. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key and let's now open up Downloader. Inside Downloader, we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in that short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. And this will take you directly to my website. And what I've done is I normally have one tutorial page or one tutorial for these launchers or launcher managers, which has the latest version of Wolf. It has some other different custom launchers and it also has the latest version of launcher manager. Now the time of this video, which is the 8th of February, the latest version of the Amazon launcher manager is 1.1.5. So if we now go over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, let's click on that. Let's now click on tutorials and we now need to go through the list here. It should be fairly near the top. Keep scrolling down where it says launcher manager for Fire OS 6 plus devices and Android TV devices. So I may try and move that a little bit closer to the top, but that's the one that you're looking for. So let's click on that. Let's now scroll down and we have a couple of files that we want to download. So keep going down and we can see here we have all of those files. So the first thing you need, depending on if this is the first time you're doing it or not, is a version of Launcher Manager for your device. So if you are doing this on a Shield TV, get the first one here. If you're doing this on a Chromecast with Google TV, get this one here. But now example, because we want the latest Launcher Manager, I'm gonna click on this one. And it doesn't matter if you have the previous version installed because you should be able to install this version on top of it. Now, if for whatever reason you get any errors with that, just set your launcher as the default launcher, then uninstall Launcher Manager, then install the latest version from our website, and you can then use the newer one with all those new features to once again enable your custom launcher. Let's scroll down and let's click on this green download button. And let's click on that. And this will download the application directly onto your device. And if you already have Wolf Launcher installed, you can leave that as is and just update your Launcher Manager. Let's click on done. Now, one of the new features of the Launcher Manager is you can also change your keyboard. So if you're not happy with the stock Amazon keyboard and you rather use a virtual keyboard like the Lean Key keyboard, like what you see on your Android TV devices with that QWERTY layout, you can also use that. So if we go back to the tutorials page, we can see on the same page, if I scroll down, we can see I've also put the Lean Key keyboard so you can download and install that if you want to. And here's also some custom wallpapers if you want to install that. So again, click on the link, install any custom wallpaper that you like. Once you've installed all of that, let's now press the home key and let's now open up Launcher Manager. Now, unfortunately, you may have this issue where it doesn't have the icon, but Swin Wolf, who is a developer of the Launcher Manager and also the Wolf Launcher, he's working on a fix for that. So make sure you are subscribed with all notifications and I will show you that video as soon as the update comes. Okay, let's open that. Now, before I showcase the new features of the Launcher Manager, let's now use its main function, which is to disable your stock launcher. Let's click on the first option, which says enable custom launcher. Let's click on that. Give that a second. And if you do see any prompts asking you, do you want to allow the ADB debugging? Just click on always allow and click on yes. And we can see now on the left, it says here that the current launcher is the Android system because 
at this point or at this stage it doesn't know which launcher we want to use so what we want to do now is just press the home key and we can see on my device because I have two launchers installed I have the wolf launcher and also the leanback launcher it's asking me which launcher do I want to use so my example because I want to use the wolf launcher I'm going to go to the top here and click on always and there we have it guys in a couple of seconds we're inside the wolf launcher we don't see any adverts we have a really nice looking background we have these shortcuts which are the fire tv settings which is an application also available on that same tutorial page so if you want to have one click access to let's say for example my remotes i can click on that that takes me straight to that setting similarly if i want to adjust my applications i can click on that it takes me straight here it's a great way for you to quickly access the stuff that you regularly use on the home screen and we can see on my device because it is fire os 7 widgets are also supported but unfortunately on the 4k fire stick which is fire os 6 there's no way to enable widgets at the moment now let's say for example you want to adjust the size of this top space let me just go to the top here if i press and hold here press the select button and hold that brings up the menu alternatively you can press the context key which is one of the three lines that also brings up the menu now if i go to launcher settings let's go to sections now if i go to the widget section we can see now i can customize its height so if i now go to the right we can see that increases the height that allows us to see the wallpaper more so now for example i can leave it like this and this way if i really like my wallpapers i can see more of the wallpaper i can click on ok go back we can see i have to really scroll down quite a bit before i see my applications but on the top i get to fully appreciate my wallpaper so i know some people are looking to do that and that's the easiest way you can increase that top space to show more of your wallpaper and on the flip side if you don't want to see much of the wallpaper you can again press the context key go back into uh, launcher settings go back to sections go to widgets and basically where it says the height i can now adjust that make it shorter and this way we can see more of our application so it is personal preference i personally like to see more of the wallpaper so i'll leave mine about here but again as you can see you can fully customize it okay so i'm not going to spend really any more time customizing or showing you how to customize this but as i have covered it before in multiple videos so i will leave a link in the pinned comment if you want to watch more of an in-depth guide on how you can customize this but what i really want to show you is those new launcher manager features so let's go down let's now open launcher manager okay so the first thing we can see that's new here if i scroll down if I go to other settings, we can see, for example, I can change the system language. So if I click on this, so for my international viewers, if you want to change the language of your Fire Stick, we can see now we have lots more options and you can change the complete overall language of your Fire Stick. That's the first thing that's changed. Let's go back. Now we can also see you can change the default keyboard. So if I just give you a quick demonstration, if I press the home key, if I click at the top here and we can see this is what the typical Amazon keyboard looks like. So it's not QWERTY. It has each letter one after the other. Let's say, for example, you want to change that. Well, let's press the home key back in Launcher Manager. I can click here and because I've already installed the lean key keyboard, we can see I get this option here. So let's click on that. Let's now press back. And I'm hoping now when I click up here, it now loads the lean key keyboard. So we can see that's fully QWERTY. Looks a lot nicer in my opinion has some extra features and allows you to have the option. So if you do want to change your keyboard, you can find any other keyboard online, install the application, and you can now use the new launcher manager to select that as your default keyboard. Okay, let's press back. If any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag wolf, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And now we have a built-in screensaver manager built in directly to the launcher manager. So I can now click on this. Now, for example, if I want to disable the screensaver, I can click here. And that turns it off for everything. But in my example, I want to use a custom screensaver. And on the same tutorial page, you will see a link for the aerial view screensaver, which gives those really nice Apple TV 4K screensavers. We can see I can click here. 
Now, depending on which screensaver you have installed, you can go for the default one. This is another default one. And in my example, I'm going to go for aerial views. Let's click on that. Press back. We can change the timeout. We can see mine set to one minute. And we can also change the sleep timeout of the device. So if for whatever reason you get annoyed that your device keeps getting to sleep, you can click on this and you can then increase the timeout. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I really do think this new update to the Launcher Manager does have some phenomenal new features and also lots of bug fixes under the hood. So I definitely recommend if you are using the Wolf Launcher with the Launcher Manager that you should upgrade to this latest version. So really appreciate your support. Make sure you are subscribed with all notifications so you know exactly when the next update drops. And I'm really talking a lot now because I'm hoping that the screensaver kicks in at any minute just to show you that the process is working and we can see it's done exactly that. So once again, guys, really do appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.